The van build is temporarily on hold this week because I am on the verge of divorce. Our bathroom is in desperate need of renovation and if that doesn't get complete, it's gonna get ugly. We're Kevin and Taylor and after traveling in our converted Sprinter van all over North America, we decided to sell it and build a new one. And after only three van build episodes, the van build is temporarily paused for a well overdue home renovation project. This house is almost 100 years old, and this bathroom is basically from the 70s. Not only is it super old, but the floors are cracking, there's mold in the shower, and it's just absolutely disgusting at this point. We've been putting off the bathroom for the last two years because we've been working on our Airbnb, and we know it's going to be a pretty loud project and didn't want to disturb our tenants when we have them through Airbnb or longer term tenants in the winter. The first thing we're going to remove today is the tub surround and the tub itself. We thought about three different options to renovate the bathroom. One, just resurfacing the existing bathtub. Two, going with a company like Bath Fitters, which we thought was pretty inexpensive, but let me tell you something, that is not the case. They were going to charge us $11,200 to renovate just the tub and the tub surround. Nothing else to the bathroom, which we think is super steep and not worth it. And the last and third option is to do it ourselves, which... If we can build a van, we can probably renovate a bathroom, so here's our first attempt. I feel like a first kiss, can't miss kid in the candy store. I might be an outcast, red flag knock knocking on your door. If you're wondering, we're not going to have a shower until it's completed, so that means we are out of luck with showering in this house. Luckily, this is a duplex and we own the unit above it and we have no tenants in there currently, so we can go upstairs to shower and use the potty if we need to. Bath fitters did say that they could do the complete bathtub and tub surround in only two days, so that starts the clock right now. We are currently at... 134 on Monday and let's see how long it takes us to renovate the tub and the bathtub surround. It feels good to be me. some new ceiling stuff anyway. I think maybe we should just uh, repaint it. <laughs> I asked Taylor, well, our neighbor used to repaint it and we were set on doing that and then out of nowhere he stopped, well not out of nowhere, he started flipping houses and stopped doing the resurfacing of the tubs and Taylor just wrote it off completely, which would have made life a lot easier. In my defense, I thought he was a bath fitter guy. I didn't know if he was just going to be me. First piece done. How does it feel? It feels good other than the fact that I need to deal with all these nails. All right. Here. I must admit, I think you're having a little bit of fun with the demo. Demo is fun. Wait till I have to carry the... The bathtub in here with the tub. You have a lot of space. <laughs> a lot of space. That's about a foot. Oh. 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 Oh.
move. Yes, I have it all. Ugh. Uh -oh. I am now taking uh, comments. Who thinks this will actually be done in two days? I do not. It's a big project and we have a lot of crap to remove and take out and replace and yeah. Here's hoping it's two days. A root? This is a root. This is like a stem. Oh yeah, it's a root. Like a weed or something from the attic. We don't have an attic. Or from the crawl space, I mean. Wow. Great. And our house is a garden. <laughs> In case anyone is wondering, Kevin loves flashlights. It's true. That's, that's why he just did that. <laughs> Do that all in one. Pull that out this way. And then get it all out. Are we gonna start the install today? Maybe. We like, well, like what's we next? Get our own mixer. Gotcha. Okay, the tricky part. Pulling the towel out and then over everything. Because <laughs> for whatever reason, we want to keep the toilet intact so maybe we can sleep here tonight. It'll probably be easier if I cut this out, but. Stickler down there. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I'm over it. You're over it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You got it, you got it. I've never been so happy to be, see so much trash on our lawn. Made pretty good progress for day one. Got everything out, but I did end up using the leveler and realized that the ground is not level. So we don't want to take the chance and put it on an unlevel floor, so we're going to get some self-leveler, put it on top of this tomorrow when we go to Home Depot, and we'll see how that settles, and then hopefully get the tub installed tomorrow. We'll get the the shower mixer and all the remaining parts that we need to make this happen. It's day two and we got a pretty big list for Harbor Freight and Home Depot supplies. So that's where we're off today before getting the job started. We're going to get rid of this, some of those copper wires and put some PEX in because PEX is the best. And I don't know why anyone would use copper anymore. It makes zero sense. Get up on your feet It ain't always so easy When you've been feeling things so deeply Love is all that you need If you ain't giving, you're taking So play that melody so sweet. Back in the good old landlord truck This thing might not have AC But it sure has heat on this very chilly morning <laughs> I already turned off the heat or tried oh, this landlord truck. I was waiting for the heated seats, but uh, that doesn't exist here. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of three vehicles have heated seats now. <laughs> the only one that doesn't is Spuffy. <laughs> Go. 
Or something and just I'm gonna chillax. make you a sandwich. Yeah, but I'm not in the mood to do work today. <sighs> While Kevin is measuring for the piece of wood, I'm gonna make us some breakfast. One of the best things in New Jersey, hands down, other than our pizza, our bagels. They are so good. So, so good. I got jalapeno today, and I got Kevin the Almighty. Can't beat a good everything bagel. Breakfast. It smells so good. How's it going in here? It's going. I wanted to get this in so I could put the primer on so it could cure. cure. It takes two hours before breakfast. Ooh. I, I work too fast? <coughs> Is that what I'm hearing? I mean, I'm right there. I just need to curl it and then roll it real quick. So you're saying you want to hold off on breakfast? Maybe just... Five minutes. Breakfast only takes five minutes. <coughs> okay. Better late than never. Twelve twenty-four for breakfast. Yeah. Well, we did have a banana. walk-in shower and a 10 by 10 jacuzzi <laughs> with with active jets that with heated water and all that stuff and I can get you $300 a week for that rental you got that's not not enough actually 300 a week 300 a week it's not terrible no, I'm telling you right now in the middle for the of the winter summer, winter 300 a week no 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 summer I can get you $300 a week and listen to me I need a 10 by 10 jacuzzi with a walk-in shower, with a, you know, like a 12 by 12 walk-in shower with uh, all the spigots going all over the place. We told him we're doing the bathroom today, so here's Glenn. All right, I got to go back and bother somebody else. <laughs> you ready for the video at 4 o'clock? Uh, yeah, I'm going to tune into the video at 4 o'clock because at 4.05 I need to take a nap. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a hard day. Oh yeah. Hopefully the it's, moment uh, of truth. Solid enough, but liquid enough. I don't know. Let's First see. First timer. Oh god. Yeah. So I have little screws here that indicate how high, how much stuff I need. So it's, this should be full, or invisible, mm. and I'll know I'll have enough. It makes so sense. Nice. Smart. Oh yeah. You hear that? Your barrier is working wonderfully. Oh yeah. He's a level and pro? Like this is pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, I mean if it comes out level. I feel like I've maybe put too much in. With this stuff you have to wait about 16 hours until you can do anything. So hopefully Fingers crossed we can get the tub in tomorrow, but unfortunately I have work and I won't be here to help. This is like, I don't know, everything looks good right now. I get this little chunk out and put it in the trash can over this here. This was seriously probably the easiest project yet so far up the bathroom, which means hopefully, crossing our fingers, that it's going to be... I mean, we had just 
the right amount of compound. I think we're a little thicker than what we needed to be, but that's fine. If this levels out, like it's something's got to go wrong. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's not going to make sense. Well, hopefully it doesn't. But man, it looks good. It's like a, it's like marble top, a big block of marble or something. Wow. Well. Marble's white, but... I'll take the increased height for a level tub. Yeah? Nothing's worse than having water just sitting in one area of a tub. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> but I won't. But I won't take increased height on a swivel seat. <laughs> see what I did there? I see what you did. Look out. I'm coming through like a wrecking ball. just me and I need to figure out how I'm gonna get this tub into the bathroom. Ideally I don't want to move the toilet. Toilet, not tub. But I think I'm gonna have to, which sucks. This thing is porcelain, not acrylic too, which I'm learning is a lot heavier, which I'm not excited about at all. But we'll see. Hopefully I can do a test fit. If not, I gotta take the toilet out and go from there. tub in. Not sure how I'm gonna get it out, but it's in at least. I just gotta figure out what everything's sitting on here. Looks like I need to cut down this foam and go from there. Woo! I wish I got it on camera, but it was a struggle and the clip probably would have been like 45 minutes long. side in first. Not sure why. That's how I got to work. Catch my wave, you better keep up. Catch my wave, you better keep up. Come on, let me tell you now, catch my wave, you better keep up. I got the stringer in, ready to go for the bathtub. So now I can finally put the bathtub in and then I'll work on the tub surround. This right here is 74 inches. I'm hoping the tub surround is lower than 24, 74. With my luck, it probably won't be. So I'll have to take all this out. I think I'm going to have to take this drywall out as well. And I'll also have to build in the frame of the 60 inch wall and everything else because this is just not square at all. And it's bigger than 60 inches and it's just brutal. Don't buy a really old house with plaster walls. Cause it's not fun. This is it for the day. I didn't film that much, but we got the tub in and I had to build studs out with furring strips because this house is from 1927 or something. I don't know how old in the twenties. And it's got plaster walls and it's just a mess. So I was hoping to get much further than what we got, but it's better than nothing. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get the walls up and then we will be in a position to take a shower in this house again. Well, look who's back with us today. Thank God. Yeah, it's a wall day. Taylor just whipped up the meanest breakfast ever. This is her famous avocado toast, which is just absolutely delicious. And she makes me two of them, which I'm very grateful for. Thank yeah, you. Looks good. Today we're hoping to get the walls up, the mixer in, maybe have an operating shower today. Well, but, I don't think we can use it. Well, we want the 
walls above it will still be exposed, so you don't want to get water there, but I think you can technically. Kevin's having a blast. <laughs> we had to knock more of this out for the shower mixer because the previous one was all the way down here, and this is much bigger than the old copper one. And the tub. And the tub. Go ahead, you can blame me. Uh, Taylor wanted the higher tub, which is higher than our old one. So, smaller area for both the tub faucet and the, or the tub spout and the shower mixer. So, plaster. Had to knock it all out. Now, I have to build a wall or a backing so I can have this screwed into with support. It's fun. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Apparently it's two inches off the stud, which I made the stud, so who knows how accurate that's going to be. And that's your backing. So I need to figure that measurement out and then secure it in place. Got myself a splinter here. Blood. There's probably not any blood. There is too blood. All right, put your hand down. Don't miss it. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. <laughs> Progress is getting made. This project has been a beach, but we're getting into it. Hmm. It's going in. Slowly but surely, things are happening. Okay. That's in there, like swimwear. We just tested this side. It's tight there. It's fine. Moment of truth. We'll a break. This could send us back to Home Depot. Or we could be on our way to victory. Got some grass with that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Trying to get two jobs done at once? <laughs> oh boy, I'm nervous. Don't need any gunk in our mixer, do we? No, we don't. Every time we think we have a good idea. <laughs> nope. Get it in there. Right. Let's go. It's time for the cleanup crew to come in so we can have some dinner. Come yeah. on, baby. Come on, baby. Fit in nice. Do a little dance. Fit in nice. Don't make us cut twice. Don't break it. Sometimes your strength is out of control. Come on, now. Come on. Guys on YouTube don't always know what they're doing. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so we've come to a problem here on the install. This little flange back here is making it so Kevin can't lift it too much to be able to wedge it in the side. Take two. Take two, I just made it a little deeper and a little wider around here, see? I see it. Have fun. Good job. Will we succeed? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're in? Is it well? Yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta push it down. I know. <laughs> we have the sock clean. Ready? We're in? Four days. I need a beer. 
So we can cheers. What do you say, dear? <laughs> Here. I can see clearly now the foundation's done. I can cross one obstacle off my list. Don't you worry though, Taylor's gonna create more. <laughs> For me real quick, 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 yeah. I'll never chill. Yeah, we have walls, ceilings, flooring. We have a van to build. Van to build. This project always needed to get done before you bought a new van. Hey, we bought a new van. Well. We were just as excited together. Don't okay. Don't forget that. Well, someone's also excited about getting house projects done. That someone is clearly only me. Yeah. I mean, the bathtub needed it, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you wanna just keep showering in that moldy ass thing? No, this is nice. Alright. Should we continue or should we be done? You should put that on. It's officially day four. Taylor is at work today. But I just uh, got done putting the fixtures on. So it's time to open up the water, test the connections, make sure everything isn't leaking and then test the drain make sure the drain's not leaking and then I'll silicone this bad boy up and it'll be pretty much ready to go and we just gotta do the top and all that trim work but wow bath fitters claims that they could do it in two days they probably can because they probably know what they're doing and have the right stuff but it was a learning curve it's the moment of truth guys here we go I don't see any signs of leaking. Ooh, look at that line. Check out Taylor in her work attire. Oh yeah. Looking good. Who bought the shower curtain rod? You did. This thing sucks. Alright, well. It didn't take us two days. Bath yeah. fitters is quicker. That's correct. It took a total of five days, but that includes going to Home Depot to get stuff because we weren't fully prepared. So if bath fitters did come, they would have did all their shopping at Home Depot or wherever they get their supplies ahead of time. But we learned new skills. And it cost us a whole heck of a lot less than what bath fitters quoted us. So I would say, all in all, it was a good decision. For the tub and the tub surround, it costs like little less than a thousand bucks. Granted, it's not acrylic, so it's not like the best quality that you would get with bath fitters. But it's still Better really nice. It's looking great. And we're gonna save a boatload of money. Yeah, now we just have walls, ceiling, flooring, doors. Yeah, we still have to do all the finishing touches around the trim and stuff of the bathroom, so there's still a lot of work to do. But I think next is gonna be at least one project on the van before we finish the entire bathroom. But hopefully the bathroom will be done by... Next week? Yeah. Making a whole ruckus when people move in. <laughs> true, true. Crunch. Yeah, we have tenants coming in November 1st, so we need to get mm -hmm. all of the loud work done before then. So, that's true. Anyway. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday. Hopefully Ho with some van updates. Yeah, hope you like this little break. This little fun improvement. Yeah, maybe in the future we'll have like some type of property and we'll do something more like who knows who yeah. knows uh, whatever we'll see you guys in the next one a van update